Celebrating President's Day by Trudy Strain Truitt, illustrated by Michelle Dorenkamp. Chapter 1 Pride and Presidents. People crowd the sidewalks of Old Town Alexandria, Virginia. A marching band plays Yankee Doodle. Here comes a red, white, and blue float. You're just in time for the President's Day Parade. President's Day falls on the third Monday in February. The holiday honors the Presidents of the United States, especially George Washington, 1732 to 1799, and Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865. Both of these leaders were born in February. So wave an American flag and join the celebration. Chapter 2 Never Give Up George Washington was born on February 22, 1732 in Virginia Colony. As a boy, George dreamed of being a soldier. When he was 21 years old, George joined the Virginia Militia. In 1759, George married Martha Curtis. They settled on George's Virginia farm called Mount Vernon. Their quiet life didn't last long. The colonies were tired of obeying Great Britain. The colonists wanted to be free to rule themselves. In 1775, British and American soldiers started shooting at each other. The Revolutionary War, 1775 to 1783, had begun. George Washington led the colonial forces into battle. His small continental army was no match for the mighty British. Yet, Washington did not give up. The winter of 1778 was very cold in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. The Continental Army didn't have enough food or supplies. On February 22nd, the troops celebrated George Washington's birthday. He was 46. They played music and sang. It lifted everyone's spirits. In time, Washington's patience and clever battle plans paid off. The colonies won the war. Chapter 3 Father of his country. At last, the United States was independent. The new nation needed a leader. Again, people turned to Washington. Some wanted to crown him king of the country. Washington said no. The country needed a citizen to guide it, not a king to rule it. In 1789, Washington was chosen to be the first U.S. president. Soon it became a tradition for American cities to celebrate his birthday. Washington was a kind leader. At the end of his life, he expressed that he was against slavery. He also felt land had been wrongfully taken from Native Americans. He tried to help them. After two terms, eight years, Washington went home to Virginia. On December 14, 1799, George Washington died at Mount Vernon. The United States lost a brave hero, founding father, and beloved president. Chapter 4 Honest Abe Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin in Kentucky on February 12, 1809. Young Abe loved reading. One of his favorite books was about George Washington. Abe was bright, funny, and honest. His good character got him elected to state legislature in 1834. He began speaking out against slavery. In 1842, Abe married Mary Todd. In 1860, Lincoln became the 16th President of the United States. By now, the issue of slavery was splitting the nation. The South wanted to withdraw from the United States to form its own country. Lincoln was determined not to let that happen. This led to the Civil War, 1861 to 1865. In 1863, Lincoln freed the enslaved people. But it took two more years for the North to win the war. Lincoln was elected to a second term. On April 14, 1865, he was shot by John Wilkes Booth. Booth supported the South. He was angry about the war. Lincoln died the next morning. Today, Lincoln is remembered as a strong president. He kept the United States together during one of its hardest times. Chapter 5 A Nation Celebrates In 1885, U.S. President Chester Arthur declared Washington's birthday as a national holiday. By now, some states were observing Abraham Lincoln's birthday too, though it was never made a U.S. holiday. In 1968, the U.S. Congress moved Washington's birthday celebration to the third Monday in February. 
It became more commonly known as President's Day, a holiday to honor all presidents. Government offices, banks, and schools close on President's Day. People fly U.S. flags. There are parades, concerts, plays, and fireworks shows. Some people lay wreaths at the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Thousands of people show up to pay their respects at Mount Vernon. It is also tradition for a senator to read George Washington's 1796 farewell address to Congress. The father of his country gave the nation and its people some wise advice. Observe good faith and justice toward all nations. Cultivate peace and harmony with all. Chapter 6. Hail to the Chief Do you ever wonder what the President does? He or she works with Congress to create laws. The President meets with world leaders to keep peace. The President commands the military in times of war. The United States has had more than 40 presidents. Each one has been different. Thomas Jefferson was born into a rich family. Abraham Lincoln was very poor. Before taking the oath of office, Harry Truman ran a clothing store. Jimmy Carter owned a peanut farm. Ronald Reagan was a movie actor. That is a wonderful thing about the United States. Any citizen who was born in the country can be president. Chapter 7 Poetry Corner A Nation's Strength What makes a nation's pillar high and its foundation strong? What makes it mighty to defy the foes that round it throng? Brave men who work while others sleep, who dare while others fly, they build the nation's pillars deep and lift them to the sky. Praise for a nation. My country owes me nothing. It gave me, as it gives to every boy and girl, a chance. It gave me schooling, independence of action, opportunity for service and honor. In no other land could a boy from a country village without inheritance or influential friends, look forward with unbounded hope. Chapter 8 Songs of President's Day Hail to the Chief Hail to the Chief we have chosen for the nation. Hail to the Chief. We salute him, one and all. Hail to the Chief as we pledge cooperation in proud fulfillment of a great noble call. Yours is the aim to make this grand country grander. This you will do. That's our strong, firm belief. Hail to the one we selected as commander. Hail to the president. Hail to the chief. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooding. And there we saw the men and boys, as thick as hasty pudding. Chorus. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Mind the music and the step, and with the girls be handy. There was Captain Washington, upon a slapping stallion, a giving orders to his men, I guess there was a million. My country tis of thee, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, for every mountain side let freedom ring. My native country thee, land of the noble free, thy name I love. I love thy rocks and rills, thy woods and templed hills. My heart will rapture thrills like that above.